you can cut Delinquent Duo from your GOAT deck. And we're gonna talk about why. This video is sponsored by MetaMats.com. If you want 10% off the best mats in all of Yu-Gi-Oh, enter in the code Yugi Jesus on MetaMats.com. You get 10% off your order. Also, if you want $5 off of some sweet deck boxes from LDBDuel.com, you can enter in that same code Yugi Jesus. Get $5 off there. They make cool stuff. MetaMats, LDB, best sponsors in Yu-Gi-Oh. They make awesome stuff. So, why can you cut Delinquent Duo? Ah, oh, here we go. Ooh. I've talked about this taboo before, by the way. I just haven't made it into its own video until now. But now might be a better time than ever. Because now more than ever, especially around here, more people are playing Chaos. And I mean everyone and their dog, their neighbor's dog, their neighbor's cat, their neighbor. <laughs> and just go to goformat.com and look at tournament history and top decks and stuff. It's, it's like all chaos, dude. Chaos variants, warrior chaos, it's chaos. It's chaos. And because everyone plays chaos, basically everyone plays Thunder Dragon. It's a great card in an instant plus one that dumps a light in your grave. Because it's a plus one and because it's a light, it duo proofs your hand. Which is exactly why duo is not as powerful as the other two cards in the GOAT format trinity. In my opinion, Snatch Steel should be over Delinquent Duo. Blasphemy, I don't blasphemy. The point I'm trying to make here already is that good players are gonna play around your duo anyways. Most chaos builds inherently play cards that destroy Delinquent Duo. Destroy Delinquent Duo. Say that 10 times fast. Chaos and Standard Goats, as well as a lot of other decks, will choose to main deck Night Assailant. You discard Night Assailant off of Raigeki Break or Divine Wrath, for example, and then you get a flip back from the grave, including another copy of itself if you want, which mitigates the cost of discarding. Duo proofing. Basically, everyone in GOAT format, except for like burn players and stuff, are also playing the obvious and the classic Sinister Serpent. It returns to your hand during every one of your standby phases in GOATs before it's errata, anyways. So it duo proofs, as well as mitigating discard costs, like I just said about Night Assailant. Thunder Dragon, Night Assailant, and Sinister Serpent are played in a lot of decks. You're gonna see these cards at tournaments, and if you activate Delinquent Duo and waste a thousand of your life points and hit these cards, you're gonna cry. And you're gonna be at a disadvantage because life points as a resource is a real thing in GOATS. Do not underestimate life points as a resource. There are also cards that stop Delinquent Duo that are a little more niche, that people don't play as much. Regenerating Mummy, Fear from the Dark, or Electric Snake, for example. There's there's more, but those are probably, I don't know, debatably the best ones outside of what I've already named off. But one that isn't as niche is Abyss Soldier. You guys are gonna be like, what? Abyss Soldier duo proof since when? <laughs> since always. <laughs> Does Abyss Soldier duo proof? Well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> it, it, it's hard to pull off here. You have to have Premature Burial in your hand and Serpent or another Water in your hand as well. And your opponent has to hit Abyss Soldier with duo and miss Premature Burial and your other Water, unless it's Serpent. If it's Serpent, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah, this, it's it's kind of hard to pull off. <laughs> or like they have to hit the soldier and something else and then you have to like draw premature burial. <laughs> okay, it, okay, it, it's kind of niche, okay? But my point I'm trying to make here is that Abyss Soldier as a card isn't as niche as like Regenerating Mummy and stuff. Because Abyss Soldier actually has a really OP effect and it has really good stats. Bouncing any card on the field, card, not just monster. Very, very good. Getting rid of face down flip effects, getting rid of back row, like face down mirror forces to dig. Whew, it's good. It's really, really good. So yeah, like I said, it's pretty niche, but it also isn't because Abyss Soldier is a great card. And as far as I'm aware, the Abyss Soldier loop is the most powerful non-FTK loop in GOAT format because you summon three or even four monsters with the right hand. And I did pull off the Abyss Soldier duo dodge one time in a tournament. I really did one time. It was, it was awesome. I did it one time. I don't remember how it went down, but my Abyss Soldier did get discarded by a duo, and it might have been like duo Serpent. It may, it may have been like duo and something else, and I had Serpent in hand and then drew Prima. Either way, dude, it worked, and it was beautiful. Now, if you're playing a discard deck, that's completely different. If you're playing like Gear Freak Smoke Grenade or Don Zalug or something with Spear Reaper, for example, yeah, by all means, play duo, because it undoubtedly helps with the strategy of making your opponent not have a hand. That's it discards from your opponent's hand, yeah. If you are playing a full-blown discard strategy, duo proofing is only gonna help them so much. Like, they're Knight Assailants, Thunder Dragons, whatever, that's only gonna help them so much if your whole strategy is just you don't have a hand. Yeah, by all means, if, if that's your strategy, is just dig and make them discard, play Delinquent Duo. In closing, Delinquent Duo is not always the power card that it is respected as. It's, it's just not, I've actually, Cut it and long cut it for years. I, I play like I have it. It's really funny. 
<laughs> but because <laughs> I mean they're gonna anticipate it. <laughs> but yeah, I don't I don't play it because everyone plays chaos. It has a terrible chaos matchup, and since everyone, their dog and their neighbor's dog, like I said earlier, is playing chaos, that makes Delinquent Duo the weakest of the Trinity by far, and should be replaced with Snatch Deal. Anyways, even though Snatch Deal can be stopped with Dust Tornado or MST or whatever, but man. That plus one that you can get off of Snatch Deal is just beautiful. And with the meta being what it is currently, with everyone playing Chaos, you can cut it for a better card to fit the meta and that doesn't cost a thousand life points. Because once again, life points as a resource is real in GOATS. But yeah, that's the uh, whole explanation. Everyone's playing Chaos, everyone's anticipating a duo. Chaos decks inherently play outs to Delinquent Duo, whether they I mean, even if even if Duo wasn't a card, Chaos Dex would still be playing Night of Sailor and Thunder Dragon and stuff just because those are some of the best cards for that strategy. Therefore, Delinquent Duo is... Delinquent Duo, in my experience, is only good against bad decks and bad players. It also can catch your opponent off guard at the right time, though, okay? But, but you hear what I'm saying, hopefully. I would never, ever cut Delinquent Duo, even if they were playing Chaos. Did, did you even listen to the video? Something, something, bad advice, something, something, you suck. Yeah, I've never topped a tournament before. Definitely not a GOAT tournament, no, no. <laughs> never won lots of money playing GOATs. No, I'm... I'm imagining this. I'm imagining all of this. Yeah. Subscribe! <laughs>